mobility project. A lot of the work that I do as a physical therapist and a strength coach is kind of revolves around solving the dysfunctions that people have in their day-to-day -day lives. And one of the things that we have to kind of consistently talk about with our athletes is this need to kind of cultivate good position. Today I talked to a really smart, uh, talented Olympic lifter who also happens to have a big brain. She's an actuary and she couldn't see the relationship necessarily between, you know, sitting on the computer and why her, you know, overhead position sometimes gets tough or the tugboat driver I saw who was, you know, working in a bad position and then, uh, you know, having a hard time kind of, you know, pressing. So what I want to talk about today is one of the kind of salient features of modern athleticism which is really, Juliet's laughing because there's a great movie in the background that you're going to have to identify later on for extra points. Uh, but one of the salient features of modern athleticism is that we sit a lot and that this is killing you. And uh, I've made this kind of point several times. One of the big things is that uh, as you sit all day long, you're making kind of some unconscious compromises. Um, your hips are going to get tight, your shoulders are going to get tight, your back is locked into kind of a forced flexion or forced extension position. You can't naturally kind of rotate out of that like you would squatting or standing. So here's what I want you to do. Um, I want you to be aware that what we call is the death by right angles. So take a look at this. Right angle, gas record is on slack the whole time. Hamstring is on slack, hamstring is on tension, another right angle. Right angle, hip is brutally short where I stand up. Now my calf is short, can't fully extend, can't fully extend, end up overextended with bad case of man belly. So what we're looking for is, you know, already I have a whole bunch of compromises I'm going to have to work out. Furthermore, I camp out in this position, there's another 90, there's another 90, and God forbid your head's in a terrible position all day long, God forbid you're in this position. So what we're trying to talk about is kind of cultivating excellence and cultivating kind of positional awareness. We've talked about before that there's kind of two good ways to type. One is that I put my shoulders back as far as I can, try to break the bar in half, get super tight to this loving cocktail. Oh, I said it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> break the bar in half, set the shoulders, come on down. That's my typing position. The second, if I was a more Eastern approach, I'd be externally rotated into Shavasana. She's shaking her head, I'm so fired. And then I come back up into neutral. There's another way. But uh, this, is, this is my resting position. But here's what I want you to do today. You've got to identify how many times in the day you sit and make this pact with yourself. Every single time you sit, it's a one minute penalty. So if you sit down for one minute, you've still got to do a one minute stretch or one minute mobilization. The most simple I'm going to give forward is just cross the knee. If you need to support the knee, that lateral collateral ligament is stretched, it's okay. If you need to support it, full forward, belly tight. Don't extend, don't break. That's position one. Position two is you just pull that in tight to my hip. And then just rotate around, right? Just get some opening here. I have to do that for a minute. I know normally we talk about two minutes, but you're gonna be shocked at how many times you sit down. Three, I could internally rotate, drop that leg over the top, and just kind of camp out on a little internal rotation and flexion. Four, I can drop down right off the chair, press that hip forward into this kind of common position. Five, I can throw my hand behind my back. Put that shoulder back and I can just kind of twist and work on inter rotation and six, lay that leg right up on the table. So here's your menu of choices today, but at some point, every time you sit down to the toilet, to the bed, getting dressed, realize how much cumulative sitting you're doing and what that's really doing about your athleticism because it's destroying you. The desk warrior athlete poet, that guy is you and uh, you need help. This is what we're going to try to do. Let's put the, the kind of the shaman's blow of awareness on how much you're sitting and the unconscious compromise that you're making and its effect on your performance. Tell me how it went one minute for every time you sit. Good luck with that. See you tomorrow.